Did you know that Italy has more UNESCO World Heritage Sites than any other country in the world? Yes, it's true. This boot-shaped country is a treasure trove of culture, history, and surprises. From its ancient ruins that whisper tales of a grand past to its vibrant cities that hum with the energy of modern life, Italy is a place of endless fascination. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. So, buckle up as we count down the top 10 things you probably didn't know about Italy. Starting with number 10, Italy is the country with the most active volcanoes in Europe. Now, isn't that a fiery fact? Let's delve a bit deeper. Italy is home to three major active volcanoes, Vesuvius, Etna, and Stromboli. Located on the west coast, Vesuvius is infamous for its eruption in 79 AD that buried the cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum. This dramatic event left an indelible mark on history, painting a vivid picture of life and death in ancient Rome. Next, we have Mount Etna, the tallest active volcano on the European continent. Situated on the east coast of Sicily, it's a spectacle of nature's power that's both intimidating and mesmerizing. Finally, there's Stromboli, often referred to as the Lighthouse of the Mediterranean. This volcano is known for its almost continuous minor eruptions, a phenomenon known as Strombolian activity. So, next time you're in Italy, be sure to keep a safe distance from these fiery mountains. If you're enjoying our exploration of Italy, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Are you learning something new? If so, we'd love to know. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're not already part of our community, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. This way you won't miss out on our future videos filled with fascinating facts about different countries. Now, without further ado, let's get back to our countdown. At number nine, did you know that pizza was born in Naples, Italy? This humble yet delicious dish has a rich history. It began as a meal for the poor, a simple flatbread topped with whatever was available. However, it was the introduction of tomatoes from the Americas that truly revolutionized pizza, leading to the creation of the classic margarita in honor of Queen Margarita of Italy. This traditional pizza adorned with tomatoes, mozzarella and fresh basil replicates the colors of the Italian flag. Since then, pizza has evolved into a global phenomenon with countless varieties. From the thin and crispy Roman-style pizza to the deep-dish American versions, the world can't get enough of this Italian masterpiece. So, when you're savouring a slice of pizza, remember you have Italy to thank for that. Moving on to number eight, Italy is home to the smallest country in the world. Nestled within the heart of Rome, Vatican City holds the title. With its own passport, postal system, and even a standing army, albeit a very small one, it's pretty impressive. Vatican City is the spiritual home to the world's Catholic population and a renowned hub of art and culture. It's a sovereign entity, recognized globally. Yes, a country within a country, only in Italy. For number seven, it's a bit of a fun fact. Italy has more elevators than any other country in the world. If you've ever wandered the cobblestone streets of Italy, you've likely noticed the prevalence of apartments and multi-story buildings. Tall, ancient structures share space with modern skyscrapers, creating an architectural tapestry unique to the nation. This blend of old and new necessitates a high number of elevators, making Italy the undisputed champion of vertical transport. Talk about lifting your spirits, right? Number six, Italy is often referred to as the land of love a romantic destination that has inspired poets, artists and lovers for centuries. Picture this, a gondola ride through the winding canals of Venice, a city that seems to float on water or perhaps a moonlit stroll on the cobblestone streets of Rome, where every corner reveals a piece of history. And let's not forget Verona, the setting of the world's most famous love story, Romeo and Juliet. This city is a testament to the timeless allure of a passionate romance. Italy is a place where love is in the air, in the food and in the breathtaking landscapes. It's a land filled with romantic whispers of the past and the hopeful promises of the future. It's where heartbeats synchronize and love stories unfold. So if you're looking for love, it seems Italy might be the place to go. Coming in at number five, Italians take their coffee very seriously. Now let's spill the beans on Italian coffee culture. In Italy, coffee is not just a beverage, it's a way of life. It's an essential ritual that punctuates the day from the morning's first espresso sipped quickly while standing at the bar to the evening's leisurely decaf. Here's a fun tidbit. There's an unspoken rule in Italy that cappuccino is strictly a morning drink. 
You see, Italians believe that having milk in your coffee after 11 a.m. can disrupt digestion. So, if you order a cappuccino after this time, you might get a few raised eyebrows from the locals. And let's not forget the espresso, the lifeblood of Italian coffee culture. Strong, dark, and delivered in a small cup, it's the perfect pick-me-up at any time of day. Remember, when in Italy, do as the Italians do and enjoy your coffee the Italian way. Number four, Italy is home to the oldest university in the world. Picture this, the University of Bologna, a beacon of knowledge and wisdom established way back in 1088. That's right, this institution has been shaping minds for over nine centuries, longer than any university in existence. It was here that the term university was first coined, setting the standard for higher education across the globe. This historic institution boasts a rich tapestry of academic pursuits from law and medicine to arts and philosophy. Its hallowed halls have borne witness to countless intellectual breakthroughs and have nurtured some of the greatest minds in history. Imagine studying in a place where knowledge has been passed down for over 900 years. At number three, Italy is the undisputed pasta capital of the world. This country serves as the home to a mind-boggling variety of pasta with over 300 different types recognized. From the northern region's creamy, buttery pasta dishes to the southern province's olive oil-based delicacies, there's a flavor for every palate. And it's not just the types that are impressive, the annual consumption is staggering too. On average, an Italian consumes about 60 pounds of pasta in a year. That's a lot of carbs. Yet, the tradition of homemade pasta still thrives in many households, keeping the age-old recipes alive. It's a beautiful blend of modern consumption and traditional preparation. So whether it's spaghetti, lasagna or tortellini, Italy has got you covered. Number two, Italian is known as the language of music. Now, why is that, you ask? Well, it's because Italy played a pivotal role in the development of Western music, including the creation of musical notations. Yes, that's right. The system of writing music that we use today was born in Italy during the Middle Ages thanks to a man named Guido of Arezzo. And that's not all. Many of the terms used in music are in fact Italian. Think of allegro, andante, crescendo. These are words that musicians around the globe understand regardless of their native language. That's the power of music, isn't it? It transcends borders and it speaks a universal language, a language that was largely shaped by the Italians. So next time you see piano or forte in your music sheet, remember it's all Italian. Italy has not just given us mouth-watering pizzas and romantic vistas, but also the language of music, a gift that keeps on giving. Before we unveil our number one pick, let's take a quick look back at the facts we've covered so far. Italy, the land of volcanoes, pizza, the smallest country, elevators, romance, coffee, the oldest university, pasta, and the language of music. And now, for our most surprising fact about Italy. And finally, at number one, Italy didn't become a unified country until 1861. A patchwork of city-states, kingdoms and empires, it wasn't until the Risorgimento movement that Italy was brought under one flag, shaping its rich, diverse culture. And there you have it, the top 10 things you probably didn't know about Italy. We hope you've learned something new and we'll see you in the next video. And that's it for our top 10 facts about Italy. But let's not stop there. Do you know any other little-known facts about this beautiful, diverse country? Maybe you've visited before and discovered something new, or you're a history buff with some fascinating insights. We'd love to hear them, so why not share them in the comments below? Your fact might just make it into our next video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.